any lessons with a quick review of unit three week one so the comprehension strategy that we're focusing on this week with these two weeks are reread which means we're going to read a story over and over until we understand the author's purpose for writing that section of the story right so the author's purpose can be the reason why the person that wrote the story wrote the story to either entertain us to inform us, to persuade us, to teach us. There's many reasons why an author would write a story. So, a quick clue on what type of author's purpose we'll have in a story really depends on the genre, right? So here, the genre is the type of story. So expository text means they're going to teach us about something, right? So right now, we already know that the author's purpose cannot be to persuade us or to entertain us because... In an expository text, they're going to teach us about something maybe scientific or about animals or maybe a process, right? The writing trait we're going to review these two weeks are organization. The grammar would be action verbs, structural analysis, contractions, S, R, E, L, and L, V, E. Oh, I'm sorry, and V, E. And abbreviations, right? And this all goes with our writing instruction. So we're going to learn this as we learn about writing. So, Magnet's work. That's the first story we're going to read about. Then the next story we're going to read is I Fall Down. And time permitting, we might get to move it, all right? So these are the vocabulary words that we are going to focus on these two weeks. Amazing, which means causing great wonder. wonder. Force, something that moves or stops the body. Measure, to find the size of something, objects or things, proved, shown to be true, speed means fast motion, true, not true, not, true means not false or wrong, that means there is, you know, it's correct, weight, how heavy something is, and these are our high frequency words for the first week, all right, for the first week would be about, around, good, great, an idea, and our second week would be often part, second, two, and world. All right? All right, so now we're going to move on to page 101, unit three, week one. And the first page we always focus on is our vocabulary page. So, quick tip. Mr. Hernandez gives you this page of the vocabulary definitions. I try to give it to you two weeks I mean, the Friday before we come back for the lesson, right? I try to give it to you as soon as I can. So, this is what I expect you to do. Always use these to define your words up here, right? So, amazing, great wonder, or wonderful. Remember what I write? Yes, you write force. Something that moves or stops. Measure. Hold on, let me zoom in a little. When you measure something, hmm, you find the size. Objects are things. Proved means shown to be true. Speed is fast motion. True means not false. And weight is how heavy something is. All right. So you have one minute to copy all those definitions. Ready, set, go.
Awesome. Let's read the directions now. Read each clue below. Then find the vocabulary word on the right that matches the clue. Draw a line from the clue to the word. So first we have to read each clue below. After we read, we need to find the vocabulary word on the right. This is the right. That matches the clue. Then the third thing we need to do is once we distinguish or we find the vocabulary word that matches that clue, you need to draw a line to connect the clue to the word, right? Number one, how heavy something is. Hmm, what did we say was how heavy? Think, which of these words has the definition of how heavy something is? I know what the word is. Here, how heavy. Wait. So now I'm going to draw a little line. Number two, read it with me showed something is true think which of the following words shows us that something is true amazing proved force speed measure true or objects you have one minute to pick the right word Number three, very surprising. Something is very surprising. It is, hmm, something that is wonderful and very surprising. Pick your answer. Could it be amazing, proved, forced, speed, measure, true, or objects? Think which of the following words matches the definition very surprising. Four, how fast something moves so I remember something moving fast is called fast motion speed so now I'm going to connect number four to a all right so if something speed the definition of speed is how fast something moves all right Number five, not false. If something is not false, it is think. Is it amazing? Is it proved? Is it force? Is it measure? Is it true? Or is it an objects? Or objects? Think. When something's not false, it's proven to be 
true thing was the answer. Number six, things you can see and touch. Hmm. What are things you can see and touch? Think. Is it an object? Is it to measure? Is it true? Is it forced? Is it amazing? Or is it proved? What is a thing you can see and touch? Seven, a push or a pull. Hmm, which of the following words means to push or to pull? Amazing, proved, force, measure, true, or objects? Think, which of the following words means a push or a pull? One minute. One Find the size of something. Hmm. When you find the size of something, you, that's right, you measure it. So if your last word is F and it's measure, most likely you got the other words correctly. Remember, you're only allowed to use these words one time, okay? So that way you don't make a mistake and use the words over and over and over, and then you don't learn your vocabulary words, and then you won't get a good grade on the vocabulary test next week, Friday, okay? Now let's look at B. Choose one vocabulary word from the box above. They want the box at the top here with all the words that we have. Write the word in the sentence of your own. Hmm. So Ms. Hernandez is going to pick amazing. Ms. Hernandez has an amazing time teaching 
her lovely children. And then I'm going to add, oops, <laughs> I don't know why I put a question mark there. And then I'm going to write, it's true. So bonus, Miss Hernandez. Bon Miss Hernandez is using two vocabulary words. Oh my God, how exciting. Yes. Amazing and true. Awesome. So thanks for joining us to complete page 101, unit three, week one. So let's recap. Let's review. So if something's amazing, it is causing great wonder. Proved means, prove means so, show to be true. Force means something that moves or stops a body. Speed means fast motion. Measure means to find the size of something. True means not false or wrong. Objects means things. All right. And weight is how heavy something is. So don't forget to stay up to date with the latest homework vids. You should subscribe. That way you don't have to worry about what page is your homework. Every day, Monday through Friday, Ms. Hernandez releases a video every day at 3 p.m. on the dot. So you should go home. By the time you get home, you have the video there and you should know what your homework bit is, okay? And don't forget, Ms. Hernandez has an amazing time teaching her lovely children. It's true. I love what I do and I love teaching my beautiful children. See you next time. Bye!